So, hi, welcome everyone. In this series of videos, we are going to learn the programming concepts of ARM7 for writing the programs for LPC2148 microcontroller. So, in this video, we are going to write a program to find the factorial of a given number. This will be helpful for microcontroller and embedded system lab, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So, myself, Muhammad Ali, I am working as an assistant professor at Mysuru Royal Institute of Technology, Mandia. So, we know that, so for writing any program, we need to write this line, that is area, we will give that area name, that area will be a code memory and it is a read only memory. That is, we will define a area, so we will give a area name as factorial, F-A-C-T and this area is written with code and it is a read only memory. Right. So, next here in this program, we are going to find the factorial of a number. So, the factorial, I will take a number like for example, 5. So, we need to find the factorial of a number 5. So, it is like 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, it will be 120. So, it is equivalent to 78 in hexadecimal number. So, we can verify in our calculator that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 1 is 120 in decimal number and it is equivalent to 78 in hexadecimal number. To write this program first we need to define a register which is having this uh, number. So, we will use this uh, uh, R0 to save our number which we want to find the factorial. So, here R0 will be 5. Next, we will initialize the result register where we will save the result. So, we will initialize R1 as our result register. So, in R1, we will save a number 1. So, next, we will compare this factorial number with 0. So, here uh, we will write an instruction called as compare R0, comma hash 0. It will compare R0 and 0. So, now we have R0 value is 5. So, 5 is not equal to 0. Then that 0 flag will be 0. In comparison, it will check this flag registers. So, here we will check for 0 flag register and it will be 0 because this R0 is not equal to 0. So, next, uh, if it is 0, we will stop the program. So, if we are finding the value, uh, factorial value for 0, we will stop it at the beginning itself because uh, factorial of 0 will be 0. Uh, that's why. So, here uh, to check that, we will write an instruction BEQ and we will have a label stop. So, uh, here it is not 0, it will not stop. If it is 0, it will stop. Uh, that is 0 flag will be 1 and uh, the comparison value R0 will be 0. Uh, that's why uh, it will stop. If it is stop, it will go to the label stop and at stop we have written a no op instruction which doesn't do anything and will end the program. Right. So, now it is not equal to 0. That's why uh, we will continue the program. So, we will copy the same number to one more register that is uh, result register R1. So, now in both the register R0 and R1 we have a value uh, 5. Next, we will decrement that number. So, we will decrement a number that is in R0 with 1 that will become 4. So, we have done this because we need to multiply these two, 5 into 4. To multiply, uh, first before multiplication, we will compare this with 0, right. So, if it is this was 1, 1 and 0, 1 and 0 and we will get the value 0, so that um, all the result will get 0. That's why we need to compare it with uh, uh, 0. If it is 0, we will come out of that loop, we will not multiply. So, to write that, we have a compare instruction, we will compare R0 with 0, it is not 0, 
that is zero flag will be zero and it will won't jump and uh, to check that we have an instruction branch if equal so it if it is equal that is if the value of r0 is zero it will stop other uh, if it is not zero in this case it is not zero so it is four so it won't jump to stop it will continue with the next instruction that is we'll multiply these values r1 and r0 that is 5 into 4 and the result will be stored in r2 5 into 4 is 20 which is equivalent to 14 in hexadecimal value so this uh, we'll save in our result register that is R1. So in R1, we'll copy the value from R2 that is uh, we have 20 that is uh, equivalent to 14 in hexadecimal. We'll copy it to R1. Next, uh, we need to do uh, the next number we need to multiply that is 20 is multiplied with 3. So we'll branch to the next instruction that is we'll check. Uh, from the subtract we will go to the subtract instruction so that is uh, we had in r1 14 r0 is 4 and r2 is also 14 so now next that is subtract r0 comma 1 so it was 4 now it will be 3 so we will compare whether this number is 0 no so if it is was 0 it will stop so it is not 0 we will jump to the next instruction that is we will multiply r1 and r0 that is r1 we had four, 20 that is 14 in hexadecimal number and now r0 value is 3 so that is 20 into 3 60 that is equivalent to 3c in hexadecimal number so we'll copy that uh, result to our result register r1 using move r1 comma r2 instruction next again we'll uh, continue with that same loop so in this loop uh, now uh, we'll reduce decrement this r0 value that is from 3 now it will be 2 so again it will check for our uh, r0 value so whether it is 0 or not so it is not 0 then it won't jump to the stop uh, label it will continue with the multiplication now it will multiply r1 into r0 that is r1 is 60 into 2 that is 60 into 2 is 120 that is similar equivalent to 78 in hexadecimal number right so we will copy that same number to our resultant register that is r1 so we will jump to the next again label so in this loop uh, we will reduce uh, decrement this r0 value that is uh, from 2 to 1 so now we will compare uh, the value again r0 with 0 it is not 0 it is 1 so it will not jump to the stop instruction so it will continue with the multiplication instruction that is we will, it will multiply r1 into r0 r1 was 120 now r0 is 1 120 into 1 so we'll have 120 itself and the value equivalent to uh, 78 in hexadecimal number so same thing we'll move it to our result register r1 next again it will branch to next instruction b next so that is it will branch to the again next instruction in this loop so we'll reduce the value of r0 uh, so that uh, from r0 it was 1 and now it will become 0 so now we'll compare this r0 value with 0 yes now r0 value is 0 that's why we have 0 flag is equal to 1 so once this zero flag is set to one, we'll check this BEQ stop. So branch if equal, yes, it is equal. It will jump to the stop instruction. It won't do any multiplication. So it will jump to the stop instruction. That is we have a no, no op instruction at that stop label and we'll end the program using the end directive. So finally, at resultant register R1, we have a value 120, that is 78 in hexadecimal number. The same program we are going to write in the uh, Keel Microvision ID and we'll execute this and we'll verify whether we are getting the 78 as our result for 5 factorial. 
to write that program and to run and execute uh, the program we need a software called as keel microvision so the installation steps uh, you can see my previous videos so we'll open this keel microvision so it will open a previous program so we'll create a new project we'll go to project menu click on new microvision project so it will show a wizard so we'll give a name for this project so i will give fact and i will save that so before saving we need to know where it is saving so i have created a folder on desktop that is abc so i will uh, save that uh, factorial program project in the same folder so we'll save this so now we need to give our target so target is LPC two one four eight. So we'll select this LPC two one four eight and click on OK. So it will ask for startup file. So we don't need a startup file. We'll click on No. So you can observe here it has created a target file. So in that target we have a source group. So now we'll open a blank file. So we'll click on New. So it will create a blank file in this project. So we'll save this blank file. So we'll click on save. So we'll save this blank file in the same folder that is uh, ABC, which I have created on a desktop. So I will give a name for this uh, fact dot ASM because we are writing a program in assembly language. We'll write an extension dot ASM. So we'll save this. So now we can observe that our file is fact.asm. So we need to add our file to our uh, source group. So we'll click on right click on source group. Click on add existing file. So here we need to select our fact.asm. So that is not visible to see that files. We need to select here asm source file. So now we can see that our fact.asm. So we'll click on that fact and we'll click add so that and we'll close that uh, we can see here our fact.asm has been added to our source group now we'll write the program so once we write the program so we need to uh, see that this uh, directives and instructions should be written after a tab so except uh, these labels so we have a label start next and stop these labels should be uh, without any tab and all other uh, instructions and uh, directive should be written after a tab so once we have written the program we'll save this program and we'll debug so we can't see our debug window to see that we need to go to window and reset windows to default so that we can see our build output uh, window so we'll debug this i will click on this build uh, file so we'll click on this build so we can see here we don't have any errors or warnings if we have any errors so it will show it here so you have one error two error like that so we can debug that and we can again uh, rebuild the program so now we don't have any errors or warnings we'll continue so we'll click on this start or stop debug session to debug this program so we'll click ok so it will open this debug window so steps are uh, steps to write this program and execute debug so i have made a video you can go through that video for the steps so in this debug uh, windows we can see we have different windows so here we have a, a resistor uh, window so we'll drag this so that we can look all the values of a resistor so it, now the pointer is pointing to our first instruction that is move r0 comma hash phi so that will keep our factorial number in our uh, register r0 so we'll uh, execute this uh, program by, uh, step by step 
So we'll click on the step uh, icon so that one instruction is executed that is move r0 comma 5 value of 5 is moved to r0 next uh, we'll uh, move this uh, 1 to our r1 register so that it has moved 1 now we'll compare this value r0 with 0 so it is not 0 so that uh, it won't jump to the stop so we can see that uh, uh, zero flag is not one that is zero flag is zero that's why it is uh, it won't jump to the stop uh, instruction stop label uh, it will continue with the next instruction now uh, r1 will get the same value as r0 that is 5 so you can see that we got this value 5 so now in the next instruction we will subtract the value of r0 so r0 was 5 now it will be 4 so we will compare this value uh, r0 with 0 whether it is 0 or not if it is 0 we will stop the program so it is not 0 that's why uh, we will um, continue uh, so we can see here so it is not 0 0 flag is not 1 it is 0 so we will click on step so it will continue now it will multiply r1 and r0 that is uh, 5 into 4 so now it is 14 14 is nothing but uh, that is st stored in hexadecimal values uh, we it is 20 5 into 4 is 20 that is 14 in equivalent to hexadecimal values so now uh, we will save that uh, result 14 in our result register r1 so next we will jump to the next label that is subtract we will subtract r0 to 1 so that is r0 value is 4 now it will be 3 so now we will check whether this value is 0 or not so it is not 0 it will multiply two values that is 14 into 3 in hexadecimal that will be 3c that is 16 decimal number next again we will jump to the uh, next label instruction we will subtract the value of r0 that will be 2 now we will compare whether this value r0 is 0 or not it is not 0 so it will go for multiply so we will multiply 3c into 2 that is 16 to 2 120 120 is equivalent to 78 so now uh, we will again go for that same loop we will uh, decrement the value of r0 now it will become 1 so we'll see whether this is 0 or not no it is not 0 so we'll continue it will multiply so in multiplication 78 into 1 that is it will be 78 itself so we'll move the same value to our result register r1 so next again we'll decrement the value of r0 it will be 0 so now when it is 0 it will stop because here we can see the zero flag is set to one so it will come out of that loop and it will go to the stop instruction you can see here it has been stopped so thus we have a result value 78 in our result register r1 so we have verified that a factorial of phi is 78 in hexadecimal that is 120 in decimal value so we'll stop the debug so if you want to change any values so we need to stop the debug session and we we'll can change here any values and we'll set the uh, new values and we can verify with the other values so in this program we have seen how to write a factorial program for arm 7 lpc 2148 using the keel microvision so we'll see other programs in our next upcoming videos. Thank you.